On March 16, 2021, Catoosa County citizens will have the opportunity to continue East Blast to support excellent classrooms and schools, well-maintained buildings, exceptional safety and security initiatives, cutting-edge technology, new buses, and equitable facilities across the county. East Blast stands for Education Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax. East Blast was established by the Georgia Legislature in 1996. Voters in a county must approve the one cent tax added to all consumer purchases. East Blast provides a method for Georgia school systems to generate funds for capital outlay projects which include new classrooms in schools, maintenance and renovation of schools, and purchases of new technology and buses. An East Blast runs for five years and must be presented to the voters to continue. East Bloss 6 is a continuation of the one cent sales tax on all consumer purchases that our citizens have approved since 1997. Including East Bloss, Catoosa County has a very competitive 7% sales tax. The majority of Georgia's 159 counties have an 8% sales tax, and only 5 counties have a 6% tax. Georgia voters understand that East Bloss is very important for building and maintaining schools. 157 of Georgia's 159 counties are currently collecting this penny sales tax. With Hamilton County's 9.25% sales tax, many Tennessee residents are shopping in Catoosa County. According to the Georgia Department of Transportation, 100,000 vehicles travel through Catoosa County daily on the I-75 corridor. This means many visitors and Hamilton County residents who shop, eat, and buy gas are paying sales tax that contribute to excellent school buildings and facilities for Catoosa County children. East Blast funds are used for capital outlay projects which include new schools. With enrollment increasing in the county, East Blast 1, 2, and 3 were primarily used for new classrooms and schools to accommodate growth. Over a 15-year period, the school system paid almost $80 million for new schools. East Bloss funded 83% of the cost of the county's new schools. That include Ringo Primary, Battlefield Primary, Wood Station Elementary, Heritage Middle, and Heritage High School. With enrollment stabilized, the Board of Education had the opportunity to shift the focus for East Bloss 4 projects. The Board invited stakeholder input when planning East Bloss 4 projects and three priorities were established. Safety and security, facility equitability, and technology. Safety and security of campuses and schools is the highest priority for the Board of Education, the superintendent, parents, and the community. To improve safety and security, East Bloss 4 projects included new security cameras and surveillance equipment, new buses, and fire alarm upgrades. The Board of Education understands that parents in every attendance zone want to be confident the school their child is zoned to attend has equitable facilities to other schools in the county. Significant East Blast 4 facility projects included a major renovation and revitalization at LFO High School. The project included a new performance gymnasium, redesigned media center, expanded cafeteria improvements, updated office area and visitor entrance, new visitor concessions and restrooms, a new roof, new flooring, doors, and painting. East Blast 4 passed in March of 2011 and a theater for Ringo High School was overwhelmingly supported by the community. Ringo High School was significantly damaged by the EF4 tornado that hit Ringgold in April of 2011, and the Keller Hall's Art Center was destroyed. With East Boss 4 funds and insurance reimbursement, a new visual and performing arts center was opened on the campus in August of 2014. Technology was changing in the world when East Boss 4 passed in 2011, and the Board of Education realized that classroom instruction needed to reflect a technology-rich society. East Bloss technology projects in every classroom included interactive whiteboards, projectors, teacher laptops, and enhanced wireless networks and broadband access. The Board of Education conducted a strategic plan survey in 2013 and listened to stakeholders at a town hall meeting in 2014 to determine community priorities for East Blast 5. The Board of Education determined to continue community priorities in the following areas, safety and security, technology, and facility equitability. 
The school system in Catoosa County, Sheriff Gary Sis, have a strong partnership to provide safe and secure schools for our children. After the tragic Sandy Hook shooting in 2012, Sheriff Sisk asked the system, how are you going to communicate with my office in the event of a crisis so we can respond quickly and effectively? The system identified the Silux Crisis Lockdown Alert Status System, and the Board of Education approved this emergency notification and response solution in East Loss 5. Silux dramatically improves communication between teachers, administrators, and law enforcement. In an emergency, a teacher can silently dispatch 911 from their cell phone or computer, and emergency responders have access to video cameras inside the school in real time. In addition to installing the Silox system, East Bluffs 5 safety projects included additional security cameras and front door access systems in every school. The additional security cameras allow administrators to have comprehensive visuals inside and outside the school. The MagLock system on the front door allows office personnel to identify and control visitor access inside the school. The Board of Education updated classroom technology with East Lost 4. Three years later, when planning began for East Lost 5, technology had shifted to personal technology devices. With the launch of the iPad in 2010 and wide availability of iPhones, students had access to the world's knowledge in the palm of their hand. The board approved the Let's Get Connected one-to-one -one technology initiative to provide a personal technology device for every student, pre-K through 12, and daily integration of technology and instruction. Using technology in the classroom daily enables students to connect with other people, learn to distinguish good information from bad, and use technology productively to produce and share work. Learning these skills enables students to be successful after high school in a technology-rich global economy. Facility equitability projects were a major component of East Bloss 5. The original part of Graysville Elementary School was built in 1950, so this section of the school was the oldest in the county. In addition to the age of the school, first grade classrooms were the pod design without walls or doors that were popular in the 1970s. These classrooms were not conducive to learning and were not safe. To provide facility equitability with other elementary schools, the oldest section of the school was removed, a new addition was built, and the fourth and fifth grade hallway was completely renovated. The new Graceville Elementary School is more conducive to 21st century learning, and the entrance and bus area are much safer for students and parents. The Board of Education understands that sports and extracurricular activities are important for students. Ringo Middle School was the only secondary school in the system that did not have their own baseball and softball fields and facilities. Students in these sports had to travel to practice and play games. East Lost 5 included a new baseball and softball complex for Ringo Middle School, including fields, bleachers, locker rooms, a hitting facility, concession stands, and restrooms so students could practice and host home games. With the new fields and facilities at Ringo Middle, the Board of Education determined that the facilities at Lakeview Middle and Heritage Middle were not equitable. Facility equitability projects at these schools included new press boxes, concessions, restrooms, locker rooms, and hitting facilities. Phase one of Lakeview Fort Oglethorpe High School's revitalization began in East Lost 4, and phase two was included in East Lost 5. LFO received new home and visitor bleachers, a press box and track, as well as a new sign on Battlefield Parkway. To finish the facility equitability project, the baseball and softball complexes will be renovated to include new fields, bleachers, locker rooms, a hitting facility, and concession stands with restrooms. To revitalize Lakeview Middle School and to improve security, the main office was renovated and the breezeway that connects classrooms with the gymnasium was enclosed. Other revitalizations included new bleachers in the gymnasium and stairwells were updated with new tile and paint. Your East Bloss dollars have helped us revitalize our school to make it equitable with the other high schools. For example, our new gym is an amazing place that all of our kids get to use uh, PE and for athletics after school. The weight room is incredible. Our sign out front 
just continues to pulsate out all the incredible things that your kids are doing right here at LFO High School. All those things make it possible for our students to do all the things that make high school an incredible experience. The Board of Education has listened to the community and kept promises in every East Bloss referendum. With restrictions on community meetings, the Board is proposing potential East Bloss 6 projects based on the priorities the community has established. Technology, facility equitability, and safety. East Blast is uh, very important at Heritage High School since we were built with East Blast funds. Uh, it's important for every student in Catoosa County since East Blast funds provide the technology that we use uh, in the one-to-one -one initiative where every student has uh, a device that they use uh, that was critical for us during the COVID pandemic so that students could continue learning while they're at home. So it's very difficult for me to imagine what life would be like without our technology funded through East Bloss. East Bloss 6 will continue to benefit students in every school with updated one-to-one -one technology, facility equitability projects to revitalize schools, and an exciting new college and career academy to prepare students for highly skilled, high demand, good paying jobs while improving workforce development in the region. Catoosa County students have benefited from having a personal technology device since 2016. Technology is integrated with instruction daily, so students understand how to use technology productively. When schools were closed due to the COVID global health pandemic in March of 2020, Catoosa students were prepared to continue learning at home using their iPad or Chromebook. East Bloss 6 will fund new iPads and Chromebooks for every student and updated technology in classrooms. Learning to use technology productively is preparing Catoosa County students for success in a technology-driven global economy. LFO High School is the only secondary school that does not have a theater. To maintain equitability, a performing arts theater will be built on the LFO campus. This theater will provide opportunities to showcase the talent of the LFO Warrior Band students. And with this new performance venue, drama will be added as an opportunity for students to participate in the arts. High school theaters provide a venue for performances and events for all students in the attendance zone, as well as community activities. With Graysville Elementary's new construction and revitalization, Boynton Elementary School is now the oldest elementary school in this district. This elementary school has our largest enrollment, and this school zone is predicted for growth in residential development. To maintain facility equitability and to improve safety, a major construction and renovation is planned for Boynton. Phase one of the project will be included in East Wall 6 with a large classroom addition in the back of the school to accommodate growth. Phase two will include demolition of the existing building to move the school further back on the property, away from the road for safety. A new updated two-story building will be built and bus and car lanes will be redesigned to improve traffic flow and safety. Boynton is really excited about being considered as one of the school projects in our school community for the East Bluff 6. Over the past several years, we've seen a significant growth in our student population. So by us being able to expand our school building and build a new building within our campus, this will help us um, with our student growth to allow us to grow and it will also accommodate for any new students moving within the community. And then of course, one of the other main things that this project will do for us is help keep our students safe, which is one of our um, number one priorities, of course. Um, we need to expand our bus uh, drop-off area, our car rider line. We have several parents that go across the street now um, for their um, parking in order to get onto our campus. So this will allow us to have an extended car rider line and it will also allow us to be able to have parking on campus so that parents and visitors will not have to park across the street. So I'm just so thankful for all of our community for their support and helping better serve our students. Catoosa County Public Schools has collaborated with business and community leaders since 2017 to plan for a new college and career academy. Georgia College and Career Academies are specialized charter high schools that encourage high school students to dual enroll in college classes to earn technical and academic credit to continue post-secondary education or begin a highly skilled career when they graduate from high school. College and Career Academies are a partnership between the school system, post-secondary schools, and employers. 
A board of directors with a majority of business members make decisions for the school. Board members are committed to Catoosa's From Here to Career Academy, preparing students for high paying jobs and becoming an economic development engine for employers in the Northwest Georgia region. The From Here to Career Academy pathways align with workforce demands in the region and the Governor's High Demand Career Initiative. I'm J.R. Jones, the principal of Ringel High School, and I am very excited about the opportunities for Catoosa County High School students in the From Here to Career Academy. This College and Career Academy provide the opportunity for students in every high school to have equal access to high interest technical programs in high demand career fields. In addition to exploring careers, students have the opportunity to take classes in dual enrollment with GNTC or at Dalton College so they can earn high school and college credit at the same time at no cost to parents. The From Here to Career Academy is an outstanding opportunity for students to prepare for college or career, for employers to have access to a highly trained workforce, and for parents to see their child successful in college without paying tuition. The Academy will open with the following career clusters. The School of Law and Justice and Emergency Management meets a critical need for emergency responders and law enforcement personnel in our region. The School of Nursing, Sports Medicine and Therapeutic Services addresses a national shortage in the healthcare industry. The School of Information Technology and Cybersecurity will address software and IT needs in every career cluster in the Academy. The School of Architecture and Construction will expose students to construction management and skilled trades that are in high demand in the region, including electricians and plumbers. The School of Welding and Machine Tool Technology addresses a significant national and local need for welders and machinists. The School of Education will provide the opportunity for the school system to grow our own teachers. Currently, 30% of Catoosa teachers can retire with 20 or more years of experience, so the Academy will create the talent pipeline needed for excellent teachers in our system. The School of Logistics, Distribution, and Supply Chain Management is very important in this region. Chattanooga ranks number one of all metropolitan cities in freight movement, and a Thrive 55 study found that 80% of the nation's freight travels through Chattanooga. The School of Industrial Systems Technology, Robotics, and Mechatronics will address the region's deficit of skilled workers in engineering and production. The Mechatronics Pathway launched with a cohort of 16 students in August of 2019 at the Georgia Northwestern Technical College, Catoosa County campus. The first day of class, Superintendent Dina Reese gave students a golden ticket to help them understand opportunities in the program. As a From Here to Career Academy student, they receive free college tuition through dual enrollment. Industry recognized technical college certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Authentic industry experiences, pathway-specific internships and apprenticeships, professional skills development, a professional resume, and guaranteed interviews with Pathway Partners. Students who complete Pathways are qualified for highly skilled jobs in good paying careers with excellent companies upon graduation from high school. In addition to technical skills training, employers overwhelmingly report that high school and college graduates are significantly deficient in employability and work ethic skills required to be successful employees. Professional skill development and work ethics will be a cornerstone for the From Here to Career Academy to prepare students for success in work and in life. The opportunity to attend the From Here to Career Academy is a life-changing opportunity for Catoosa County's high school juniors and seniors. The system was awarded a $3 million grant from the Technical College System of Georgia to build this school. The grant will be combined with East Law 6 revenue to build a state-of-the-art college and career academy on the Benton Place campus. Catoosa County citizens have the opportunity to continue East Blast 6 on March 16, 2021. East Blast has made sense for Catoosa County citizens since 1997 because visitors outside the county are paying the one cent sales tax when they shop and eat while traveling on Interstate 75. These pennies have added up for outstanding facilities for Catoosa's children. The Catoosa County Board of Education invites community input for East Blast 6. The board can't hold the typical community engagement meeting to listen to stakeholders due to the COVID restrictions on large group gatherings. Therefore, 
we have created a special email address for input. Please provide your comments on technology to prepare our students for success. Facility equitability projects at Boynton Elementary and Lakeview Fort Oglethorpe High School and the new From Here to Career College and Career Academy. The board would also appreciate your input for other capital outlay projects that you think should be considered. We would like to thank our community for continuing to support East Blast to provide an excellent public education for Catoosa's children.